Hi guys, just going to have another go with this gravity powered car. I wasn't particularly happy with the conclusion that I came to in the previous video. Um, there was a couple of little issues around the length of the line on the weights, uh, the way the weights were falling and so on. So this time I've taped the weights together to try and stop them getting in the way of the wheels and stop them hitting the bodywork. I've shortened the length of the string, or fishing line in my case, so that the weight is actually suspended when it connects onto the axle. So we'll try it again like this see if we can get any difference in the results. So same as before, I'll just push it back. So it touches the wall. Let it go. Mark where it stops. Try it again. Start it on the tape. Wind it up again. That's fairly consistent. We'll give it one more go. Okay, try it again. Release. Well, that's pretty consistent anyway. So now we'll try it without the plastic container catching the weight. Okay, push it back. Release. Hmm. Ran over the back wheel. Or well, the back wheel ran over it. So that wasn't a, I don't think we'll even count that one. Try again. I guess I should have put the back wheels further apart, then they wouldn't get in the way of the weights. Well, it certainly went further that time. Again. Start on the tape, push it back.
release. last time but it hit the bodywork on the way through so we'll give it another go walk it back again Well, that's about the same as the second one, but it's certainly going further than the catching the weight. So it looks like the conclusion from the first video was right. It does seem to go a bit further if you drop the weight. But you need to redesign it a bit because obviously if you're going to hit the bodywork on the way through or run it over run over the weight with your back wheels then you've lost anything that you might have gained okay quick summary of the learning points uh, first point is it doesn't seem to make a lot of difference whether you drop the weight or catch it but it may be more relevant on a longer run because I'm just doing a short run in the kitchen here. Certainly it seemed to go further if you actually dropped the weight, which is the opposite to what I expected. Learning points, if you are going to drop the weight, you need to make sure your back wheels are wide apart so that you don't accidentally run over the weight once you've dropped it. Because I've done that lots of times tonight while I've been trying to do some test videos. Uh, next, you need to make sure that the bodywork is nice and wide so that the weight doesn't hit the bodywork on the way through because I've done that quite a few times tonight. I've actually spent a lot of time doing these videos tonight and had to delete most of them because there was something going wrong. Even down to the fishing line getting caught around the bodywork. So... There's all sorts of issues that if you were doing this for a project, you would sort out. I'm just doing this to test the theory and I don't intend to spend much more time on it. But if you were doing this for a school project, then you'd sort those things out. You'd make sure your back wheels are wide apart. You'd make sure your chassis is wide enough for the weights to drop through with no chance of them banging on the sides. And you'd make sure that if you're using fishing line or string or whatever you're using, that that doesn't get caught on the bodywork when it gets released from the back axle. So hope that helps somebody.